Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. And welcome back to another episode of Walking and Talking and Riding and Sliding with your boy, Courtney P. You do not have to kill yourself. Start out walking five to ten minutes in your neighborhood and work your way up. So YouTube, so NFL football, so NFL football fans. Brian Lovewitch just got fired today, and everybody is shocked. Brian Lovewitch just a couple of years ago was basically one of the sought-after coaches in the NFL. He actually turned down a job with the actual Jacksonville Jaguars. Reason being is, is he felt like that maybe this was a toxic situation. Maybe he was going to be put in a situation where he was on a bad team that wasn't going to win anytime soon. So he did not take the job, but he's actually just been fired from his position as the offensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And so, you know, some people are already saying that Man, you know, Tampa Bay, they did not live up to the expectation. Obviously, they had a lot of injuries, I know, on the offensive line, and Tom Brady did not have his best year. But I think people have to keep in mind, respectfully, Tom Brady, even though he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, he's still 45 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And so last year when Bruce Arians, you know, again resigned and took a front office role with the same team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, again, this is the Tampa Bay's last coach again, Bruce Arians, once he actually took on this, you know, front office role, people already said that it was rumored that Tom Brady and Bruce Arians did not get along. And so basically by Tampa Bay and Tom Brady not having their best season or maybe not having a the season they were expected to have, some people are already saying that maybe Brian Lovewich is basically the person that's actually, you know, taking the blame for this or basically, you know, being, you know, who who was going to take the fall for this bad season that Tampa Bay had. You know, I wish Brian Lovewich nothing but the best as I feel like that, you know, he's a good coach. I feel like he's a halfway decent person. Hopefully this is not a situation where maybe he had some type of character issue under the table that comes out later because this is an absolute shock to the football world. I think this is a shock to, you know, even Tampa Bay Buccaneer fans, you know, although they're probably not happy with the season and not how that offense looked, you know, in that first playoff game, you know, they probably are still, I would think, shocked as, you know, this is not no Junior Bacon Cheeseburger coach. You know, Byron Lovewich is very, very well respected, you know, even as a coordinator. So it's going to be very interesting to see if he gets looked at in any head coaching jobs. Most certainly, I'm expecting him to land some type of offensive coordinator job. So, like we saw the time. We're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it pushing. we make making allies over enemies again and again and again. Thanks for walking and talking and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P. Thanks for walking and talking and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P. Again and again and again.